A car skids out of control here. It's a simulation in a parking lot. Last time for Justin Keltner, it was 2 a.m. on the side of a windy mountain road. But I happened to be texting a girl at the time, which is a lot more distracting than just texting in general. I was driving on this road, passing a motorcycle, and waiting for a, a text to be received. As we're going around this corner, without you know my knowledge or anything, this kind of sharp, blind left-hand turn comes up right on the side of the mountain. Because of all the distractions that were that were around everything that was going on, we ended up hitting right into the side of the mountain. According to AAA, nearly half of young drivers admit to texting while driving. After talking to teens and saying, do you text when you drive? And they say yes. And do you know it's dangerous? And they say yes. And we say, do you know it's illegal? And they say yes. And we ask, why do you do it? And the response we receive is, well, I have to get back to my friend. If I don't, they'll think, you know, something's wrong. So she's working with cell phone companies to create Star 65 to stay alive. User would get in the car, press a Star 65 on a cell phone that blocks all incoming emails and texts and sends an auto reply message back saying the driver is focused on the road. Technology could have helped BlackBerry addict Matt Howard. I got a text as I was pulling out of my driveway and I looked down and a split second later I looked up and I had a nine-year-old boy ride his bike in front of my car and I wasn't paying attention and slammed on the brakes, uh, knocked him off his bike. Um, fortunately, he was okay. He realized he was addicted to texting and needed help, so he created Zoom Safer. Using a phone's GPS, the software blocks incoming messages when a car is in motion and uses speech recognition to let drivers send messages. Record your message. The way Howard sees it, parents will want the software for their driving age kids. Employers might install this software on company Blackberries, and insurance companies may offer discounts if drivers use the technology. Similar products are in the works across the country and will be discussed at this week's Distracted Driving Summit in Washington, D.C. As for Justin, He's already committed to focusing on the road. It was bad enough, the whole experience I had to go through, but it could have been a lot worse. And I'm definitely going to use that as an, as an experience to change my habits for the, for the better and realize how lucky I was to really get out as easily as I did. Farrell Urey, The Associated Press.